Dream Tech, and today we'll be unboxing this, the 220T RGB Airflow case from Corsair. Let's get to it. This case is pretty cool, just like our sponsor. Okay, so we're unboxing this. So, one thing that's pretty cool about this case is that it's pretty cool, if you know what I'm saying. Corsair normally locks off all of their airflow with glass, which hinders the ability to, like, for high overclocks and such. Because the airflow is not very good. But this case is an exception. This case has a full, kind of full mesh uh, front panel, as we'll see in a little bit. If I can get this open. Three days later. Okay, that was a little harder than expected, but at least we know it was not being shaken around in the packaging. Okay. So let's get this out of this plastic wrap. So some info about this case. It's a full ATX, but it's like a compact ATX. And it's a mid-tower case. And yeah, it doesn't fit ATX-E. But yeah, yeah, it comes with a detachable metal grate, which is pretty nice. Full dust filter that you can, it's really easy to take out and then it comes with three Corsair fans which is really nice like Corsair makes quality fans but they're the cheaper fans that Corsair makes but they're still really nice Corsair fans and yeah it also comes with the RGB controller that we will see later once we get inside Pretty easy to get that done. So it comes with this nice tempered glass side panel that you can get into with four thumb screws, which are pretty easy to take out. At least I think they are. But yeah, you can already see the inside but let's go further so we'll just put this to the side and yeah so now we get a look inside uh, it is a great case for only a hundred dollars it comes with standoffs pre-installed for a regular ATX motherboard and it comes with uh, nice rubber grommet and which is pretty nice for like uh, cable management and hiding cables uh, yeah now let's pop open and it comes with PSU shroud which we'll see on the other part but yeah you take off the back panel by undoing two more thumb screws which are different than the other ones so you won't get them mixed up they're not as easy as the front ones, but easy enough. I hate it when they say they're thumb screws, but they take more than your thumbs. Okay, I put the back panel to the side, and here we got a closer look at the RGB controller, which you can change where it's at. You can put it in this. Uh, two and a half drive cage thing, or you can just keep it here. It does come with two two and a half drive cages and it comes with two three and a half drive bays. And it has these nice like tray things. And then inside of this comes your, is your hardware and zip ties, which is pretty nice. 
Yeah. And you can see all of the front panel connections. This comes with two USB 3.0s and a combined audio and mic jack and a reset button and a power button. So kind of generic uh, front panel connections, but nice to have. And yeah, some cable managing already done, but yeah. And then here's the manual. But yeah, that concludes our unboxing and review of the 220T RGB airflow. Stay tuned, we'll be uh, building a PC in this case later on the channel.